Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So in this video, we're going to take on Extreme Stage 2 of the Trial to Fix the Time Distortion. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. I also do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me this way. So, um, not much uh, to comment in terms of restrictions on team. You do need an all light team, and so unfortunately, the lights of uh, AS Clark, AS Rosetta, or uh, are out. I am using a full Earth team, and the reason, if you're wondering why I'm using a number of different units, is um, this particular boss, one is vulnerable to physical attacks and one is vulnerable to magic attacks so you need at least one magic attack preferably someone who can do a lot of damage and help support the team in order to take on one of these papa macaroles and the other units can take down the other papa macaroles so remember to just move the cursor target the unit that is um, weak to that particular uh, type of attack and end this fight with a nice two turn af there is an HP stopper, but if you set up all your buffs and debuffs on the enemy, it really shouldn't be a problem. Now, uh, I am using a Bertrand because at this time that I was first trying it, I wanted to go with a nice defensive team. We also have Nokoko with uh, Cat Dighty Guardian, which gives front and back units plus 35 physical and 35 type shielding, uh, which will help reduce a lot of damage against all types of attacks against us. Other than that, after the HP stopper, note that it is vulnerable to both types of attacks. So I think it's only the first type of attack where, uh, first part before the HP stopper, where it's um, nulled to one um, type of attack versus another. All right, so wave one is done. The Ghost King, you probably recognize uh, from either uh, the storyline or even if you are going after Levia AS, you have to take on this fight as well. Now, that being said, uh, we have the advantage of having Ea Tsubami, and by using her um, debuff move, remember that it does hit 5 times random enemies and can debuff up to 35-35 on the first hit as long as you don't use this consecutively. So you can argue that there's a little bit of RNG in the fact that um, if you use it uh, and it doesn't hit all 3 units and they attack you, you could probably take a little bit more damage. In this case, uh, we just hit it. It does a ton of damage and then we just follow up with some of our other uh, DPS and end that wave. Most of these extreme version bosses and waves all have multiple HP stoppers and so just be aware that you will have to hopefully be able to penetrate through each of the um, HP stoppers. Now just like usual, we use the preemptive move Horai Jewel to set up Poison and Pain um, and the reason for that is obviously to set up any sort of um, pain status on the enemy so that our pain enhanced Grastia can do a ton of damage. Riki Conquest of course can do um, a, a large amount of damage. Don't forget that ASGO being an earth or magic zone setter does boost both types of moves at the end of turn depending on how many earth moves are done that turn or how many magic moves are done that turn. And so with a little bit more boost from the end of turn um, zone from AS. Shio, we were able to clear that relatively easily. I don't think you need um, Bertrand at this point, although if you have any other Earth um, DPS or even uh, if you're missing AS Tsubami, you probably use another debuffer of some sort. So I would recommend having at least one debuffer on your team because with most of the fights, having a shield isn't always enough, in which case you need at least a dual debuffer of 25, 25 or higher, or your other option is to out damage the enemy such that you hit it to multiple HP stoppers without um, worrying about taking a counter hit. You've probably seen these same Grasta. A lot of times I don't move it around between fights as long as they're still uh, active and uh, effective. Miofa really is not there for anything except for just in case there was a dual zone and the fight re needed to reset earth zone. In this case, the enemies did not cancel any zone and so we were good with our earth zone all the way. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.